there everybody, Michael Valenti here with the School of Self-Defense and today we're going to talk a little bit about Wing Chun. More importantly, we're going to talk about Chi Sao and the most common mistake I see while studying Chi Sao. For people who don't know, Chi Sao is simply a drill that Wing Chun practitioners use uh, to train the ability to get to the core of their opponent while dealing with obstructions. And I define it that way because the common misconception about Chi Sao is that it is a place where you practice trapping, and that's not true. So, as we get into this, let me make it very clear. The point of Wing Chun is to hit your opponent. It's not to trap, it's not to look flashy, it is to hit your opponent. It is a punching art primarily. It has kicks, it has open hand strikes, it has elbows, but the major goal is to hit your opponent. So whenever you're doing Chi Sao, that should be your primary focus, not trapping. So let's talk about where people start focusing more on trapping and less on the actual hit. The first one we're going to talk about is Tan Sao. So people will be doing the basic Chi Sao roll here, and then your partner is going to deliver a punch. And the first thing they teach is they teach a Tan, then we block that, and then we hit. So we're making this trap here. Sometimes we'll have a higher trap here, like a Lan Sao position, but that's the one that is normally taught first, or one of the earliest ones. So that pressure comes in, and we're here. What people do wrong is that when the punch comes in, they just use the Tan Sao, and then they block and punch. In reality, we should always be thinking of hitting. So when the punch comes in, this line should immediately appear down the center line. So you shouldn't be wasting any time trapping. You should be immediately hitting, and then we can hit again. Another example of where people think more about trapping than they do about getting to the core and getting that hit is off that same position that will be here, and then when I make this trap, someone will block. And then what I see is I see people take this hand off, trap that hand, and throw this punch. That is somebody thinking about trapping, not about punching. So when I'm here, and she makes that block, this hand should come directly over that line. Because I have this whole arm is monitoring both of her limbs. I can see that her hand is here with pressure going inward, and I can monitor her other arm with mine. So she gives me pressure, she picks this up, I just hit. Okay. The other problem that I see with, when it comes to trapping is what I call fishing for a trap which is probably the, the biggest sin committed, is that instead of throwing our shots like this, is that we'll throw them like this. See how I'm looking for that trap? People want to do this while doing Chi Sao because it looks cool. I can get them here and they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm a great Wing Chun master. But in reality, all movements in Wing Chun are going forward. So I shouldn't be pulling this Fox Sao back for her to catch it. Okay, It should be coming straight in. All right, more importantly, notice how my body pressure is coming in. If I don't push into her on this attack and she blocks, then she can block, then she can block, then she can block. But we won't be able to do that against someone who has this pressure. Even if she manages to get that arm up to defend once, the second time I trap, there's nothing left for her. So in conclusion, whenever you are working your Chi Sao, focus on hitting. Don't focus on trapping. If you have a chance to hit, you hit. If for some reason somebody blocks in a way that you could trap but you could hit, we hit. And finally, the only time we trap is when we have to trap. Hi there everyone. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please be sure to rate, comment, like, and subscribe to this video here on YouTube and feel free to share this video with your friends on Facebook. Speaking of Facebook, the School of Self-Defense also has a Facebook page, a Twitter page, and an Instagram page, so be sure to check us out there. Also, if you guys live in the Indianapolis area and you're interested in coming to train with us, all the information you need to get started is available at theschoolofselfdefense.com, so be sure to check that out. To be honest, we really appreciate your guys' support. We really couldn't do it without you. So until next time, fight on.